What's up guys, this is Corey with the Dirt City Gym, and today I'm back with y'all with a um, match from this recent league challenge I was at this past weekend. Um, so we got round one here. Here on the right we have me, myself, um, I'm playing Rainbow Road, and then here on the left we have Kenneth playing a Mega Mewtwo variant. It's um, Mega Mewtwo with like Manaphy. Um, not necessarily relying on damage change, just more playing with, um, just getting the Mega Mewtwo out there to hit, hit, um, big numbers and things like that, so, um, we're about to get in here into the game, we're just waiting, um, to get the official go-ahead to go ahead and get going. So yeah, all this is still, um, we're getting ready for Dallas Regionals here in a few weeks right now, so I'm still in the process of testing a couple decks, so like right now, this is Rainbow Road I'm testing. Let's see, I... Alright, we got the handshake and we are ready to go, so I get the Joltic start, and he gets Shaman, and he is going first. Um, from his hand, we can see he doesn't really have a whole lot going there. He's got a Sycamore and then a couple of Mega Mewtwo's. A delinquent. Which I don't do a very good job paying attention to when he discards it here with uh, the Sycamore. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm looking pretty good. He's having to get rid of two Mega Mewtwo's. So as long as I can get rolling here, I'll be alright. I've also got the Umbreon EX sitting on the bench there. Alright, so he's attaching a water to the Shaman. Dropping down a Regice. Dropping down a Manaphy. And he's gonna T-mail. So, off the trainer's mill, looks like he's gonna get, um, I think he just fails it here, I don't think he takes anything. Again, you can't really see my hand, but I can go ahead and tell you it's not great. I think I have, like, at least two, maybe up to three Via Seekers, so he's gonna Ultra Ball here. Discard at least an in, I didn't see what the other discard off that was. Yeah, so my hand's not great either. I got a couple energy and some Via Seekers. I think it's Sycamore. Okay, so he's gonna get the Shaman. He will get set up here for at least four, I believe. So we get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, full six, okay. Off the Shaman, we're gonna get. Looks like another Ultra Ball. Discarding a Sycamore. I couldn't see what the other card was that was discarded. I think he goes and gets that. Yeah, he gets the Mewtwo, and this is the Mewtwo from Evolutions. Um, largely, the Mewtwo is irrelevant here because he's going to go try to Mega it as soon as possible, and he's not using Damage Change or anything like that or Shrine of Memories. So he's going to use Manaphy to retreat the Shaman and bring up the Red Ice and the Pass. All right, so I'm going to get Ultra Ball. See, here's what I'm talking about, where I've got multiple Via Seekers in my hand, and I've got nothing else I can really get rid of, so I get rid of the Fairy and the Via Seeker. I believe I go get the Hoopa. I'm not getting the start I want to here. I don't get a deer early. Um, or anything like that. Alright, so yeah, I get the Hoopa. Play the Hoopa. Activate Scoundrel Ring. I believe I just could get the Volcanion and the Shaman just to set up my bench because I need to leave that one spot open. 
because I do not have a sky filled jet. Alright, there's the shaman. And there's the Vulcan in the EX. Um, just trying to load up my bench here with the, all the types I can. Hoping with between the shaman and things like that, I can get a deer going. Alright, so there's the Volcanion. Attach an EXP share to the Joltik. And set up for one, two, three, four. Again, my hand is not rolling at this point still. Um, I don't remember exactly what I have, but I know it's not a lot. So I get to P-City, drop down his bench. Really, I'm just playing Parallel City in this deck more to prevent them from Parallel Sitting me more than anything, but... Let's get their treat. <clears throat> Bring in the Umbreon. Attach an energy to Umbreon. And then I'm going to use Veil of Darkness. Um, for 20 damage and I get to start discarding cards from my hand and like forever for every card I discard I can draw a card so I discard Brock's Grit and Via Seeker again so this is the hand I was talking about where I had just like three to four Via Seekers in my opening hand so it's kind of ridiculous all right so we get an energy out of the Reg Ice And he's going to via Seeker for Delinquent. This is when I wasn't paying attention, and I forgot he had the Delinquent in the discard pile, so I've got to discard. DCE, via Seeker. I uh, see, now I'm in a pickle. I think I have a Sycamore in my hand, maybe, at this point. I can't quite remember what I had, but I'm now out of via Seekers for the game, which puts me in a spot. There's a shaman, so I'm already got a full bench. I think I top decked that shaman, which is a pretty good top deck after that delinquent. So yeah, just not a lot going on here in the early game. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of the problem with running a deck like Rainbow Road. Like when it hits, it hits, but whenever it stalls out, there's not a lot going. A Veil of Darkness here again. Rid of an Inn. Joltik. I think that's it, yeah. We're just drawing two. So we get the DC on to the Reg Ice. So he's gonna resistance blizzard me, so I can't hit him anymore with this Umbreon. I'm going to go ahead and go in in. Um, this also puts me out of in for the rest of the game as well. So I had to discard one and then no more via seekers, so we're out of ins. So this is one of those instances where, obviously, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have discarded my via seekers um, so aggressively. But I was not imagining at all that I was going to... Uh, dead draw as bad as I did. So we've refreshed with a new hand of six. So still not a lot going on here. Like, <clears throat> I get the Ultra Ball. I think with this Ultra Ball, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go get a Galvantula and make that my new attack plan here. Um, he's got the Shaman and the Manaphy on the bench that I can both snipe for 60. Look, eventually hitting for weakness. And I have the full bench, so I can't bench Azernius at this point. So 
So yeah, I just retreat. Bring the little Galvantula. Attach the Galvantula, and then I'll double thread. Doing 60 60 to the Shaman and 60 to the Manaphy. That's my game plan. Like, if I can get this Galvantula going and hit another turn, I can take four prizes in one turn. I wasn't worried about the Red Ice. He wasn't going to be able to knock out my Galvantula at this point, so I knew I could at least get that going. But then he drops the Spirit Link here on the Mewtwo. DCE, and I'm worried. I'm like, alright. If he gets an Ultra Ball or Mewtwo, this Galvantula is toast. There's a Max Elixir. He hits it, puts a water on the Mewtwo. So let's see, I can't remember whether he has a Mewtwo or he has the Ultra Ball arc, okay, so he's Via Seekers. For a Sycamore, I end up, when I end him last turn, I ended up giving him an amazing hand, I gave him the DCE, the Spirit Link, the Max Elixir, and the Via Seeker. Alright, so there, off the Sycamore, he gets his last Mega Mewtwo in the deck, which is real fun. Gonna retreat. It's gonna take out my Galvantula here. I'm running out of options quickly. He takes a prize. So I have a full bench. I promote the Volcanion here, thinking he could at least take a hit. Um, I have to. I think I top decked the deer. Sycamore here, get rid of another Galvantula. Yeah, the options are limited here. Drop the sky fill a little late. Drop another Xerneas. That's what and then looks like a flygon EX down there on the bench. No one ever knows what Flygon EX is. That's a pretty good card to have in the stack, just to give that gust effect. It's always good to promote after something gets knocked out, so it's not too bad of an option. And it's a dragon type, so... It's Hoopa Searcherable, being an EX. Drop a special charge, um, try to get back my DCEs that I have in the discard. I think I only have one at this point, but... I need to increase my chances of getting it drawn as quickly as possible. See, so right now, if I could get a powered up Xerneas, I'm hitting for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I'm hitting for 2 sand. I'm hitting for the knockout right now, but I think I just have to pass here. I don't think I end up getting anything yet. So he drops another Mewtwo, drops a Spirit Link on the Mewtwo. Drop some Mew EX. I think it's a Glaceon EX. So he's just pretty loaded up with the options right now. Really the only thing that bothers me is the Mewtwo as he attaches another water energy to the Mewtwo, drops another Sycamore. So at this point I'm like, alright, if I can't start taking knockouts enough, like maybe I can last him out and deck him out, um, if I can get rid of one Mewtwo, because his deck size is pretty thin at this point. Drops a Silent Lab, he wisely bumps his Shaman that has damage. And I just drop another Shaman. Get a switch. I 
think he was worried that I could get the Zarnius up next turn, so he's just gonna resistance Blizzard for 140 because of weakness. Also at this point, it's good to remind you that I am out of my Barak's Grit. It's already in the discard pile and I'm out of ES Seeker so I cannot get that back if I start losing these EXs. So I Parallel City, I'm down. Drop him down to 3, drop the Glaceon. And the other Mewtwo with the Spirit Link. At this point, I'm like, alright, if I can't get anything going, at least he's got a Mew EX and a Manaphy EX that are both relatively easy to knock out. I don't have to load up my bench. Because they're both sitting at 120. I don't think I end up getting a float zone or anything to get this volcano out of the active. I think I'm kind of stuck. So I'll go ahead and attach DCE over the Xerneas. Get a max elixir. I hit it, so I've got a Xerneas powered up, so I've at least got that going, but I'm not hitting for a lot. If I can get the volcano back to the bench, I'm still only hitting for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So not enough to take out a Mewtwo. I think I had another Max Elixir here. Try to get this other Xerneas powered up as quickly as possible. I hit that one as well. I'm only running 9 Fairy Energy, but I usually get a pretty good um, ratio of hitting these Max Elixirs. Alright, yep, and I can't get out of the active, so I just have to pass. I'm going to take this knockout here, which is going to hurt, because I'm going to be losing two types. Yeah, it's a max elixir. <clears throat> At this point, I'm just like, just keep taking cards out of that deck. Keep decking out yourself, but ultimately it won't matter. Drops another energy on the Mew, so this Mew's powered up as well. He can start using Psychic Infinity um, from the Mewtwo. So he's just gonna Resistance Blizzard. Take this Volcano Knockout. I had to promote my deer, so I'm only hitting for 3, 6, 9, 12 at this point, so not a lot. Energy on the Xerneas. Get a max elixir. Again, just trying to get this guy powered up just in case, because I know this Xerneas in the active is not safe. I go ahead and hit it. So I've got the second Xerneas powered up on the bench, but again, it's not a lot going else at this point, so. Go ahead and link him down. He doesn't have just an empty hand, but, um,. He doesn't have a full hand either, so just kind of limit him his options a little bit, um, and I didn't really have any other options as far as a supporter to play that turn, so I wasn't worried about him getting another Parallel City, I hadn't seen it at this point, so I just go ahead and take this knockout in the Reg Ice. Take my one prize. And this Muse up here in the active that uh, can definitely knock out my deer. I think he drops the teammates here. Goes and gets two of whatever cards he wants out of the deck. Um,
So again, just to reemphasize, I'm definitely on the ropes here at this point. Um, so he drops an energy on the Manaphy. And there's his P-City, which I was not aware that he had. At this point in the deck, I was like, he couldn't have had it, we were so low down in the game, but he does. These are best of one games. Um, so if we were going into a, a game two, definitely would have been a lot of good information to take going into game two. Just by the cards he plays, whether it be Delinquent and P-City and things like that. So I drop a Skyfield. Bump off his, uh, Parallel City, drop his Xerneas, and I'm just gonna have to hit this Mew for as much as I can, which is 90 at this point. Game's pretty much over at this point, I know that, um, just because there, I just don't have any resources left, really. Should have went ahead and scooped, but I played it out just a little bit longer just to see if I could get anything going. Um, so yeah, go ahead and hit the Mew for 90. He gets a Super Rod. It's a Water Energy. Water energy, water energy. Shovel those back into the deck. So even if he just hits me with the Mew, he's still hitting for 150 at this point if he uses Psychic Infinity. So the, again, like I was saying, there's not a lot of options I have at this point. Um, Mew and Mew 2 can both get the knockout relatively easy. Just gonna go ahead, get the Psychic Infinity knockout. Bump up the Xerneas. Um, just kinda looking through my options here. I don't get the energy, so I just have to retreat. Bump up the flag on. At this point, I'm thinking at least if I can stall out of a turn, maybe a two, uh, with this flag on, I can be okay. Hit the max elixir on the Xerneas. So he's hitting for 3, 6, 9, 12. It's not quite enough yet. Up oh, and there's Lysander. And there's the game. So yeah, again, a bad day for Rainbow Road today just in general. So this was round one. Um, I ended up going 1-2 in the tournament. Um, I win my second game, I actually get going, and then... Game 3, I play against Javeltal, and then I just cannot get going once again. Um, so uh, we'll have round 2 up here, not in too long. Um, it'll be Kenneth.